name is Krishna. I'm a product manager here at Anditsu. Today I'm going to show how one can measure electrical length and loss profile of a coax cable using a shock line VNA. For this demo, I'm using a shock line MS46524 BVNA and a semi rigid cable from Anditsu, which I will refer to as a dead cable. Setup wise, I'm using a frequency range from 50 kilohertz to 43.5 gigahertz with IF bandwidth of 1 kilohertz and the number of points is 1000. Uh, it's important to have a decent number of points to avoid any aliasing issues. If you already have a two port, you have, if you have already done a full two port cal, you can use that setup and just insert our dot cable and uh, get the measurements with just few clicks of a button. If you do not have a full to port cal, there is a quicker way to get these measurements just by doing a TFR cal, which is a transmission frequency response calibration, which is just a through cal. Procedure is very simple. Uh, before measuring the dirt, we would we will need another cable, another coax cable, which I will refer to as a cal cable. We will do the three, uh, TFR cal using this cal cable. Once cal is done, I will insert the dot cable and measure the parameters. Let's go through the measurements now. I have connected the cal cable. To perform the TFR cal, we will go to calibration, calibrate, manual cal, transmission frequency response, through, 1, 2. Click OK and done. So this is our S21 response. We are connecting. We are using the ports one and two. Now I'll connect our uh, dot cable in the setup. I've connected the dot cable. Now to measure the electrical length and loss parameters, we'll go to measurement, reference plane. Click on auto loss and length. This gives the distance. What we see here, 78.55 centimeters, is the electrical length of the cable. And the loss profile, it's at reference frequency of 50 kilohertz, it has 0 0.002 dB loss. Uh, the uh, loss for a coax cable follows the square root of frequency rule, um, just to give an idea. So, loss at frequency F is a reference loss times square root of f over f ref. Here f ref is 50 kilohertz and loss at f ref is 0 0.002 dB. Uh, if you use, if you want to know the loss at a particular frequency, say 40 gigahertz, if you plug in into this equation, you will get that loss. In other way, we can also see if we change this reference frequency here to 40 gigahertz. And the loss we see in the marker is measuring around 1.7 dB. If you use that equation and plug in those numbers, it should come equal to the same 1.7 dB. Uh, that's all I have for this video. Hope this uh, video was informational. Thank you for watching.